going back to my origin, having grown in a place like Kibra, I know what it means to have, you know, people who don't have what they need and also to have people who don't have maybe what they desire. And so I have always grown up with that conviction to say um, it's possible. And I hope that I can be also that role model that is showing others that it is possible despite of where you come. So this is what drives me and every day uh, I am always thinking about how can we make it better. Uh, in Kibra today I am part of different organizations. I am a founder of uh, what we call Hyper Foundation uh, with uh, some um, professionals from the community. Bachelor's and Master's uh, with the University of Nairobi. So my bachelor's was uh, dental surgery. So with the dental school, the one opposite uh, Nairobi Hospital, but that's under University of Nairobi. And then I did my public health as well with the University of Nairobi. Then later on, uh, I did a master's in international executive management with uh, Lancaster University in the UK. My vision for Kenya Red Cross is an organization that is people-centric. Uh, and I know a lot of times when we talk about people-centric, of course people think about, yes, it's an organization that looks at the interests of people and ensures that it is uh, working to address the needs of people. And this is, this is something that we have always done and we continue to do because as the Red Cross, our mandate is alleviating human suffering. I received one award in uh, 2017 uh, for humanitarian uh, healthcare, actually related to the women issue. It was uh, for, you can say, women in, in humanitarian action, yes. Um, and then last year I also received um, uh, an, an award from the Nubian community, East African Nubian community, uh, for my community service. We talk about SDGs, and I know we struggle with it, and every time we're saying we are working on this SDG and all the other. I am completely convinced that the only way we will achieve the SDGs is to get the people in the center. We can build good hospitals, we can train a lot of health professionals, we can ensure everything is there, but as long as it doesn't happen at the community level, uh, I'm afraid that it will take us some time. The truth is, by the time we get there, there are many minutes that have passed by. And so the difference we can only make uh, effectively is when individuals are able to act immediately something happens even before the other help comes. Today we are talking about uh, even the floods for example last year. We had situations and places where even for us as the Red Cross it took us time to get there because there were no roads, there were no bridges, yet there were people who were marooned. But I think at the same time having grown in the organization uh, over time and also within the Red Cross movement and having had the opportunity to also head other offices, uh, I must say I, I took it by stride and I said well it's, it's for me another challenge in life, it's for me another opportunity uh, in life for myself and uh, I always say uh, that um, this position for me is also not just about me but it's also about the many other women and girls that are there and looking at me. Coming from Kibra it was a very important statement as well. Uh, to also show um, the girls in uh, places like Kibra that um, uh, you can be anything in this world and uh, you can make it. It doesn't matter where you come from uh, and it's just a matter of time and a matter of uh, your commitment, your passion, your motivation. Uh, it's also a matter of others also being convinced in uh, what you can, you can offer for you then to be able to be in such position. So I, I, I feel uh, it, it was for me a, a blessing, I would say, uh, and I believe that uh, there are many others that have been encouraged by this, and I hope that in the future we can be able to see many other women uh, taking up leadership positions in this country. With all the emergencies that are happening globally, uh, I believe we will continue to see a decrease because every country now will want to take care of its own people. Every country has its own needs. There's migration, uh, there's the question of coronavirus, there's, I don't know, desert locusts. So 
less and less resourcing. So we are conscious that this will be a challenge. And for us, uh, this is one thing we really need to, to, to look at in terms of, yes, how do we ensure we can still get the resources we need. So through this mechanism, we have systems that have been put, including feedback mechanisms. And I think this is one thing that we have learned that uh, with a lot of what has been said, uh, maybe these mechanisms were not used enough. Because if they had been used enough, then maybe a lot of these questions would have been dealt with each level. So already we have started where we have some positions uh, that have been moved actually closer to these structures to ensure that that capacity is available. Training even internally. As the Kenya Red Cross, we want to ensure that every one of us, whether you work in the finance department, you work in, the, I don't know, procurement, you work, I don't know, in a, a research department, each and every one of us is a responder.